There you go, Isley. Your favorite drink. I... Lemon and ginger. Hey. Mm. <sighs> the place of the dead is filled within the land of the living, swarming and swamped with the crushed hopes and dreams for a brighter future. Gone too soon. Gone at the right time. Should have gone sooner. Never should have gone. Oh, actually, what's wrong with me? I sit here grieving when I should rejoice that you're at peace. My love with love himself. I miss you. Do you miss me? I love you. There are many virtuous and capable people in the world, but you surpass them all. <laughs> the world is changing, baby. So much is happening right now. Disease and virus killing people, man. The doctors say I high risk. I always high risk. The government, them, um, them put people in, um, what them call it, lockdown, social distancing. Eh? <laughs> I get lonely in the house. Sometimes I wake up to hearing you singing in the shower, going up yonder. That's just me dreaming and wishing you were here by my side. You want me to make you a little lemon and ginger with honey, Norris, darling? Mm. Yes, please, baby, yes, please. You want me to make you a little bun and cheese as well? <laughs> yes, please, baby, yes, please. <laughs> The twins, them pop round every now and again. Oh, and the grandchildren, them, mm mm, grow so big. The world is no place to be raising a child now, baby. Oh. So much is happening right now. It's gotten worse since we were raising the twins. And I thought things were bad when I was a picnic and my mama dragged me from Jamaica over here in the 60s. The police, they're murdering our people, baby. All over the news. I mean, how can you be happy when there's so much madness in the world? But you, you showed me taught me, led by example. Every morning, we'd wake up and encourage one another, uplift one another. Oh, your smile mm, used to inspire me all the time. So kind, patient, and calm. All is well, my king, is what he used to say when I would worry. 
All is well. All is well. What is this faith you follow, practice, and preach, my queen, is what I would say when my burdens were heavy. Knowingly, lovingly, and wisely, you would say, it is the confident assurance of what we hope will happen. It is the evidence of things we cannot yet see. <laughs> Every night, I have the same dream. I see me walking in the wilderness. When all of the sudden I'm in the, in the middle of a, a, a major war. Slaughter and bloodshed everywhere. Then I hear a powerful voice. Why are my people fighting? Why is there a lack of peace? Why is there? Little unity, hardly any love, limited joy, and a scarcity of patience. Where is forgiveness? I fall to my knees. It is then. At the same moment, every time in my dream, that I see a figure of light walking towards me in the midst of this raging apocalyptic battle. The light it blinds me as I try to make out this figure. But in my moment of blindness, I see peace. That's right. The Prince of Peace, hair white as wool, skin burning like the sun, eyes shining with fire. Him hold out him hand and I grab it. He then starts to say words, words. I don't understand, but when his voice falls silent, all the slaughter and bloodshed instantly ceases. The dark clouds roll back, the heavens open, and the whole of humanity stands and stares and listens the magnificent and harmonious colors and sounds of hope reigning from above. Hope. Hope. It's just a dream, baby. Maybe a dream of despair firmly rooted in my subconscious. Or perhaps a sign that I'm fed up of today and desperate for hope to show up in some way, shape, or form. Either way, if or when hope shows up, I'll be ready to embrace let go and move on. Until then, I will follow your example. Tomorrow is not a promise. Life is a cycle. And because of that, because of you,